this video is going to show you how to make a media group in Luna. To begin, you can access the library homepage through the link on your CCS Access Manager. On the bottom left of the page, you will find a link titled Databases A to Z. Once we click that link, it takes us to our list of available databases. You will find the link to Luna located under the L category. If you click on it, it will prompt you to log in. Now I'm already logged in, so I'm just going to go ahead and search for something. And I'm going to search for social media in quotation marks, because I'm interested in what we have that relates to social media. So we have 52 results, and I'm seeing some things that are interesting. Okay, so I would definitely like to make a media group. How do I go about that? Well, um, if you go up to the top, you can see that this black bar up here at the top has the option for create. If you hover over create, you'll see that you have the option of media groups or presentations. So I'm going to click on media group. Okay, and I'm going to make a group called social media and I will save this group. You can make as many groups as you want. Um, as far as I know, it's an unlimited number and I personally have made quite a lot. So, okay, so it takes us back to the home page. So let's search for social media again, okay? All right, so I have my 52. Now, when I see something that I want to add, you'll notice that when you hover over an image in the upper right-hand corner, there's a black box with a white plus sign. If you click on that, the outside of the image will flash. This means that it's been added to your media. Okay, so I'm gonna add a couple. Now, the way that you know what media group um, you are adding images to is down at the bottom, there's this gray tab that says Active Media Group. And my Active Media Group says Social Media. If you click on that tab, it will show you everything that is in that group. Okay, so the two images that I just added are there. Let's see, I'm kind of interested. Oh, cats, okay. So what is this? So I go in, I click on it. Okay, it's pictures of cats. I definitely want this. If you are in the record itself, when you hover over the image, you'll see on the left-hand side, you once again have the black box with the white plus sign. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. Now, it won't show up in your media group until you go back to your search results. Um, but it has been added to the media group. You can see it here right now. All right, so let's add just a couple more. Okay, that looked interesting. All right, so I've got about five images. So if you're interested in viewing the media group, you can click on the tab and then hit go by the media group name. Okay, it will take you to your media group. You can use the buttons here at the top to reorder your group, so change the order of the images. If you manage the group, you can delete any of the images that you don't want, okay? The other really nice thing is that you can do a slideshow. So this is really useful if you have to give a presentation in class or something, and it saves you from having to make a PowerPoint, okay? So you can view it like this, which is pretty, pretty simple, pretty clean, um, and you can scroll through or if you want to have all the information available to you, you can click the I up here in the upper right hand corner and you'll see all the information present um, in your slideshow. Okay. One other thing that I want to show you, so we'll go back, is that other people have media groups too. Now, if you come up to explore on the black bar in the upper left hand corner and you hover over, you'll see that you can look at media groups as the second option in that drop-down list. On the left-hand side, you will see all the groups that you have made. So as you can see, I've made quite a lot. On the right-hand side, you'll see all the public media groups. So we can search within this, okay? So maybe um, we're interested in advertising, okay? So you can see here, there's one advertising group that you can view, and then there's one that's locked, so you won't be able to view that. It needs a password. But you can take a look at the one that is not password protected, okay? 617 images, all right, what are we kind of looking at? Okay, so this is a chronological display 
of advertising images and how they have changed over the years. Okay, so in this way, you can look at all sorts of information that other people have gathered. 